Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander art is among the oldest continuing art traditions in the world. Storytelling is at the heart of artistic practices. Artist Suzanne Thompson met with community members, elders and artists throughout Queensland to create a piece of art that shares an important narrative about her early learning. Suzanne brought together the stories from each community to create the final artwork titled Ghana Wangana Wuri Mumba. We grow children together. Yeah, so today, um, after a big journey, so I'm in, back in the Galimba studio, um, Brisbane, collating together a piece of art that um, brings together all of the stories and all of the images that were captured right around the state. So first stop was Cairns, um, and then off to Mount Isa, Mackay, Bundaberg, and then um, we've sort of finally got Logan. One of the common things that seemed to go right across was about the rainbow, was about many colours. And so that was that one common thread that went across. There was also one of the other common threads that went across was about the developmental stages, was about from little to big and how we grow. Um, it was about brightness. It was about the celebration of all things that are bright and beautiful. So there was no beige, there was no dull colours. It was about planting seeds, it was about things growing. So I think in, with the art piece, I think that's what then started to really evolve. And I know there was another place and space where our young people, when we engaged in early learning, it became this fireworks of colour. So then to sort of lay all the paints out and brushes and say to the parents, well, okay, how are you going to do this? And what they created was absolutely just amazing. Through art, because we are, are an oral visual culture, was the most effective way of engaging and getting the solutions from the community. So once all the pieces come together, then it was about coming back and, and then pulling together a piece of art that actually captures everything that I was able to capture while I was on the road. Um, so I've been sort of sitting down and sort of putting it all together into a, an, a, a final art piece that will then become sort of the, the branding, the story that we'll talk about in Indigenous Early Learning Years and, and form this whole new strategy. The most positive thing to come out of the project is that it was a whole lot of different communities that got to do their piece, that informed a bigger piece, that then captures everybody else. That's about many people telling the story, it's not about one person, there was not one artist that told, there was many that got to tell that story. You can find out more on the Big Learning Life website. Make the early years count for your little one.